Hey guys, welcome back. So, good news. This is one of my favorite missions, actually. You get a mysterious donor to dump $10 million in you, and he's going to basically let you invest it. So, I mean, I can, I can hire these people, I guess, but I don't think I'll use them. I'm probably not going to use them at all. These two guys. Let's get out. You start, I don't care. Questions to confirm your profile is a good match for this mission. <sighs> See, I like this mission, and you're ruining my life, Monique. And I thought you were the way to go. I loved you once. Once. Your contact? A mysterious donor. She has $10 million in gold that she might be willing to donate to the Gen I organization. However, there are strings attached. Okay, this looks like crap. Wow. Next, my own. Your contact? A mysterious donor. This one sucks. Good strategy. Dollars in gold that she might be willing to donate to the Gen I organization. However, there are strings attached. She insists the money be used to ensure the future of the Gen I organization, and she wants advice on the best way to make sure that happens. Should she leave the money in gold bars, or should she consider other types of investments like stocks? If so, what approach should she use to pick stocks? What is involved in researching companies? The Merc Diet is closing in on her. I mean, it's technically closing in on you, because... I want to explore on my own. She's technically giving you the money, so... Just saying. Yeah, diversify, diversify, diversify. Asset in one company. That's not true. I would, I would do more than 10%. There are thousands of stock, but investor has limited time and resources to use the research and saying the economic concept that refers to that problem is density. Scarcity. Scarcity was the one I was going to go with. Which of the following statements is true? It's easy to earn above average gains in the stock market if you do enough research before you buy stock. Buying stock in good companies most likely result in high above average returns. It's difficult to earn above average gains in the stock market because surprises are rare. Nope. Nope. Alright, difficult turn. Alright, we're gonna go 411 because I forgot all this crap. Our mysterious donor wants to know. With so many investment choices out there, mm -hmm. how investors increase their chance mm -hmm. of earning returns that are consistent with their investment goals. Good talk. As I mentioned before, the number of stocks listed on stock exchanges is huge, and the information available on those stocks is virtually endless. The sound quality of this is garbage. It's difficult to run unusual gains in the stock market because uh, stock compete with others for investors. Most information about companies is already known. Oh my God! Stop telling me you just put. The, I put it in your backpack. Uh, Rockness can't know it all. Select a few companies. Find a good place to start. Stop looking for new information with the benefits. Receive more information. Let's go. Okay, great. That was a waste of time. Alright. Stocks became each other. Great. More information. Alright, try again. Most of the company? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Stocks that might produce <laughs> above average results are hard to find. That's because there are a lot of stock analysts. Yep, we know. Um, approaches to picking stocks. Random selection. Many experts think it's not possible to consistently predict Scott's to perform others. In the case of randomly, many of the good strategies. <laughs> Let's guess what one's going to be best. Boom. All right. Yay. I don't want to come to serve you friends by. Like Walmart. Target. Best Buy. Okay. Seem popular. This is one. This is a more time-consuming approach to picking stocks. Fundamental analysis, which stresses the importance of analyzing. Okay. Expert advice. The first stock analysts who study stocks for a living do the research and follow recommendations to buy, hold, and sell stocks. Great. A game. Match to win. Shut up. I don't care if you're in the mood to game or not. I'm the one gaming here. I close my eyes and point to half ton stocks. Then I bought 50 shares of each of them. Expert advice. No, it's not. It's random selection. Don't, cl don't click expert advice. Do not click expert advice. Analyzing national banks. Basic financial information led me to purchase the company's stock last week at the 52-week low share price. <gasps> Research. If ever stock analysts, which I trust. Expert advice. And personal preference. Process of elimination. 
Oh. Companies that are profitable. Yep. Earnings per share. How much it costs. Stock price. And your revenue and sales. How well they do. Scavenger. This stock has a share price of 26.5. Oh. So this is what you... Nope. Oh, I guess I have to. Okay. Nope, there's different slides. Okay. Stock analyst support. Yay, which means I get to go... Yay. Yay, we need to have these up. Awesome. Uh. Oh, boy. Well, it looks like uh, my clean look is gone. All right, the share of twenty six fifteen up from a low of fourteen ninety five. Twenty six, twenty six. Nope, nope, nope. Um, well, it can only be big state car zone, cell computer, or extra. You're not. Even, you're not even close. Anyway, nope. Home improvement. Nope. Nope. Not either. I don't care. Car zone. Big state insurance. Bell computer. Extra mega oil corp. No, it's big state insurance. All right. The stock currently has the highest earnings per share of any stock. Well... Home improvement. American Hawk Outfitters. Crab Apple Computer. It's car zone. The answer is car zone. Of the stocks listed below, the stock has the largest negative sales growth of the year. Cool Phones Corp. Greenway Motor. Hey, it actually works. Fear issue. I don't care about this stuff, guys. I just don't. I'm not doing the research, no. I don't give a... I don't care. Shut your mouth. Alright. Yes. 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 Jeez. Great, we're done there. Alright, Cool Tech Corp's cumulative sales growth rate indicates which of the following conditions. I don't know. Cool Tech. Is experience increasing growth? Nope. Declining growth in sales. Great. Which of the following stock share price has been trending downward over the last month? Uh, alright. You win, Monique. You win. I already know the answer, and it's just to diversify everything. Put less than 10% in everything, and you make a ton of money afterwards. Then your benefactor is incredibly happy with you. Great. Alright, I need to find... What's the face? Tell me! Tax price has been trending downward. Ah! Burger B. Nope. Johnny and Johnny. Mega Cola. Car Zone. Car Zone. Alright. What do Johnny and Johnny's cumulative... I don't know. Stock is above average. Company's there. Company's well managed. Which companies might be fast growing compared to the other companies in the industry? Bell Computer. Big State Insurance Company. Cool Tech. Yeah, I'm getting no points. I will fail this mission. I just want you to know. Not to keep the thing in thing. Cost share. Risk is high. No dividends. And it's a ta tangible asset. Yeah. All right. I can solve the mission. Thank God. All right. How should the donor invest for Jedi's long-term future? Put it in moderate risk, long-term return. Mutual. I think she's going to give me a look with her glasses so I can see how much we did. Now, select a percentage of the $10 million you'd like to invest in your mutual funds. You may divide the money between stock index mutual funds and bond index mutual funds. 50? 50. Uh, 
Yay! Our money doubled. We did good. Oh, even though I got no points because I made that money, we won. Hell yeah! All right, that's all for that one. See, I love the that mission. It's super easy, super quick, and it's actually moderately fun because you get to see that huge spike. Anyway, till next time, guys. Have fun uh, with this awful game. <laughs>